Christmas fun day. Stop laughing, Vanessa. Okay. Wait. Okay, so. Stop. Okay, so let me go to. I hope I'm sharing my screen. Okay. Now you can see. Okay, it says rewrite in exponent form. Vanessa, you're going to go out because you're going to make me laugh. Stop. Sorry, my daughter. Okay. Well, my hair is all funny. Okay, rewrite in exponent form. So remember, exponent means a little power in the air. Vanessa, go out. <laughs> so here's the example. Right now, it's in radical form because that thing right there is called a radical. So you're taking away the radical <laughs> sign <laughs> and changing it to the exponent. Now, don't, don't act like you haven't had this before because you have. We've had this before. Vanessa, stop. Okay, so this guy didn't have, so you're, you have to turn him into exponent. So you say, well, exponent has to have numbers in the air. That If five is the base, what do you make the fraction out of in the air? So remember, if they don't have anything, you have a one right there. And that go, goes on top. Remember I said some little clue like uh, they're special if they're under the house. So they get to go on top. So the one goes on top. So that one right there was invisible. Now the other, <laughs> when it's a radical without a number out here, there's an index, which I don't think you have to know the word index on the end of course exam. But there's an invisible two if there's not one. So if there's not a number right here, it's an invisible one. This radical sign always means the square root. It means you're taking it, the square root of it. That means 2. You know, if it was a 3, you'd be multiplying this number 3 times. But So if it doesn't have any number out there, you know you're multiplying 2. You know you're going to multiply some number, some number together 2 times to get that answer. So anyway, if they don't have a number out here, it's an invisible 2. If they don't have a number right here, it's an invisible 1. So you're going to look at this one and you're going to say, 5 is my base, but I have an invisible 1 who was under the house, so they get to go on top. And the 2 was outside, so you make him have to go on the bottom. He wasn't important. The 1 was more important. Remember we said, oh, he's inside the house. He must be more important. He goes on top. So remember, the problem started out in radical form. So that's called radical form because it has a radical sign, that symbol right there. It looks almost like long division symbol. Remember, you would have a um, dividend and a divisor. So things have names. So this is called an index, and that's called a radical, radicand. But it looks almost like a long division sign, but it's a little different. Okay, the problem started out in radical form, and the answer was written in exponent form. Form, So it started out in radical form and ended up in exponent form. So on your paper, on the EOC, you're not going to draw an arrow. I'm just trying to tell you that's the problem, and then I put the answer down here. I didn't have to put an arrow. That's not part of the procedure, okay? But you can if you want to. Um, the 5 has an invisible 1, so I wrote that there for you to know. And a radical with no number on the outside, so no index, it has an invisible 2. So we already talked about that. The next one, example. So I wrote it up here, uh, more of my work. Rewrite this one in exponent form again. So they're giving you a problem that has a radical, and you need to put an exponent. So that means a little power in the air. Remember, something's going to have to be up in the air. So let's keep the 5 as our base, okay? So the 2 is important, remember, because he's got to go inside the house. Well, I call that house. So the 2 goes on top because he was important. The 3 was outside. He didn't get to even get to come inside the house, so he was not important. He goes on the bottom. So that's the answer. It started out in a radical form. It says rewrite your answer to be as an exponent form. So you no longer have any radical sign in this one. Here's another one, example. Now, write it in a radical form, so you're going backwards. They'll give you both kinds. They're starting out like this, and you're going to make a radical symbol. Okay, so you know the 6 has to go inside the house because it's your base number. 
Now you've got to figure out which one goes inside the house and which one goes outside the house. Now when you get to high school, you know, try not to say that to your teacher. That's just a little thing we remember it by, okay? So don't say, oh, it goes in the house. Just say that in your mind when you get to high school. Okay, so there's your base. The three is important. He's on top, so he gets to, he's allowed to come inside the house. The two is not important, so he has to stay outside. So I started out with an exponent form problem, but I had to rewrite it in a radical form. That's how I ended it, okay? And so I'm still on my work, more of my work. Okay, write in radical form. So you have this. <clears throat> Don't freak out because it's fraction and then an exponent. So still, this is your base. So it goes inside the house, okay? So I'm going to put a half inside the house, and I'm going to say the one is important. The one, oh, this marker doesn't even work. This one is important. So remember, the one gets to go inside the house. And the four wasn't even important because he was on bottom. He goes on the outside of the house. He didn't even get to come inside the house. Now, this one is optional. You do not have to put the one. There, a one down here on the base, is that, that's really implied that it's a one. You don't have to put the one. That's kind of being extra, okay? But, so on the EOC, they're probably not going to have the one. They're going to think that you know you don't have to have the one. So don't say, I can't have that be the answer. There's no one. You just have to remember there's an invisible one, okay? Okay, now I'm getting ready to give you your work. Now, I want to go over here real quick to show you on the EOC what they look like. So just to make it more official. Here's what it looks like more official. Rewrite the following expressions in exponent form, okay? So you would know he has an invisible one right there beside him, and out here, if a radical doesn't have anything out here as the index, it's a 2. So that would be 5, 1 over 2 is the exponent. We just worked these. This is an exponent, it would be a big 5, and the 2 is important, so he gets to go in the air, and the 3 would go on the bottom. So, it's kind of messy, but there's 5, invisible 1, 2, 5, Two, three. So this is just to show you how it looks more official, but I did the same problems just a minute ago. Here's how this would look more official on the EOC, okay? Rewrite in a radical form so that you know that radical form means you have that radical sign, okay? So this is just to remind you. We would just work these, but I'm just letting you know that's how it looks more official, okay? So now you get to work your problem. So let's go back over here. Here's your problem. Um, oops. Oh, this was some vocabulary I was going to talk about. Exponent looks like. Exponent looks like um, a to the one third power, and this is a radical because it has radical sign. Okay. Here's your work. That's why I wrote your work so you wouldn't get confused with my um, examples. So you have problem one, problem two, problem three. But remember, just go back and look at my examples. This one needs to be written having a radical in your answer. This one needs to be rewritten with an exponent in the answer, not a radical. And this one needs to be written with a radical form. Okay? So, good luck. Um, I think, hmm, I might use this problem to see who could do it perfectly to see who maybe could um, win a prize. So, let's see. Because um, that last pizza that somebody won, he's not even in our class anymore. So, who was that that won that? Aiden. No, it wasn't Aiden. Hmm. Okay, I'm taking too long to look at that. Stop. Okay, so do this problem, and we might have a pizza as a prize. But I want, I want it to be perfect, and it better not look just like the problem from MathWay or PhotoMath, okay? If you get stuck, of course, you can use that, but it better not look exactly like theirs. See y'all later. Bye.